Good morning. This is a numerical problem based on the shrink case limit that we have discussed in the previous class. An undisturbed sample of clay brought from the field was noted to have a volume of 18 cc centimeter cube and weight of 30.8 grams. On oven drying, the weight of the sample was reduced to 20.5 grams. The volume of the dried sample as obtained by the displacement of mercury was 12.5 cm3. Calculate the shrinkage limit and the shrinkage ratio. Now we know the equation for shrinkage limit as m1 minus ms minus v1 minus v2 rho w by ms where m1 is a mass of wet soil which is given as 30.8 grams. ms is a mass of the dry pad which is the one that we get after oven drying which is 20.5 grams here so i have m1 equal to 30.8 ms is equal to 20.5 v1 is the initial volume of the soil which is wet and it's given as 18 cc and v2 is the final volume which is the one that you get after taking the soil out from the oven and which is the one that you get by mercury displacement method. So V2 turns out to be 12.5 cc and rho W is equal to 1 gram per cc. Since you have to have a consistent unit system, gram and cc is given in the question, so you take rho W as 1 gram per cc. Substituting these values in the equation, you will get 0.234 or approximately 23.4 percentage as a shrinkage limit. Now the second part of the question is to get the shrinkage ratio. Shrinkage ratio SR is equal to rho d by rho w as per the equation number E that we have discussed in the previous video. So rho d is nothing but 20.5 divided by 12.5 which is the mass of the dry soil pad divided by the volume occupied by the dry soil pad. So rho d is equal to 20.5 by 12.5 and rho w of course will be equal to 1 gram per cc. So all you have to do is to divide rho d by rho w and the value that you get will be around 1.64 the shrinkage ratio. Alterberg indices is the next topic. Now, indices is nothing but the plural for index. Of course, you know that. So, we are discussing about Atterberg limits and in which we had discussed liquid limit, plastic limit, shrinkage limit. Liquid limit is a water content at which soil changes from liquid to plastic. Then you have plastic limit where it changes from plastic to semi-solid. Then you have shrinkage limit where soil changes from semi-solid to solid. And the first term which comes under the Atterberg index is plasticity index. The plasticity index IP is equal to WL minus WP, liquid limit minus plastic limit, so which is nothing but the difference in water content between these two lines. Or that is the range of water content, the range of water content in which the soil remains plastic. So this is a zone of plasticity index. The second term is liquidity index. Liquidity index IL is W minus WP by IP multiplied by 100. W being the natural moisture content or the natural water content of the soil sample. WP is a plastic limit. IP is plasticity index. So in short, Liquidity index is equal to W minus WP by WL minus WP multiplied by 100. Now 100 is multiplied to convert that to percentage. So this liquidity index is a nearness to the liquid limit. Or in short, if your soil sample which is taken from field is near the liquid limit, let's assume that W is equal to WL, you will get 100% share. And if 
the water content at field W is equal to WP plastic limit you will get zero so in short it is a nearness to the liquid limit likewise you have another term consistency index it is a nearness to the plastic limit so intuitively I see consistency index is WL minus W by IP where IP is WL minus WP so I can in short write IC or consistency index to be liquid limit minus in situ water content W divided by WL minus WP so when W in the numerator is equal to liquid limit you will get zero here and if it's equal to plastic limit you will get 100% here so these are kind of inverse terms I would rather call them so one is a nearness to the liquid limit and another is a nearness to the plastic limit so every soil will balance these two values together so that IL plus IC turns out to be 1 or 100 percentage next is a flow index flow index is a slope of the flow curve flow curve was the one that we had plot between the water content and the number of bows while defining the liquid limit using Cassie grind as apparatus so flow index is a slope which means w1 minus w2 by log n2 by n1 where n1 is the number of blows corresponding to a water content w1 and n2 is the number of blows corresponding to a water content w2 so the slope of the flow curve which which is nothing but a straight line is flow index next you have what is called as toughness index toughness index it is equal to ip by if ip is nothing but plasticity index wl minus wp and if is a flow index so toughness index is the ratio of plasticity index to the flow index next term is activity activity a is IP by F where IP is the plasticity index and F is a clay fraction which is the percentage of soil which is finer than 2 micron sieve clay fraction F is a percentage finer than 2 micron sieve and activity is a measure of water holding capacity of clay change in volume due to change in water content depends on the property activity so based on the values of activity whether it's less than 0 0.74 or if it's falls between 0 0.75 and 1.25 or if it's greater than 1.25 you'll have inactive normal or active soils so it's a measure of water holding capacity of clay question an undisturbed soil is having 25 percentage plastic limit 40 40 percentage natural moisture content and 50 50 percentage of liquidity index you're asked to find the liquid limit so in short liquid limit il is w minus wp by ip where w is the natural moisture content which is given as 50 percentage wp is plastic water content at the plastic limit and ip uh, is liquid limit minus plastic limit so I have W minus WP by WL minus WP or IL which is already given is 0 0.5 equal to 0.4 minus 0.25 by WL minus 0.25 where the only unknown is a liquid limit which can be obtained by cross multiplying and the value turns out to be around 0.55 or 55 percentage quite a simple question all you have to find out is liquid limit by just substituting in this equation next question the liquid limit and plastic limit of a soil sample are 70 and 30 percentages respectively with the percentage of clay fraction which is one that has a fraction less than 2 microns is 20 
you're asked to find the activity of the sample. So just in the previous slide, we had discussed activity A as IP by F, where IP is liquid limit minus plastic limit. So liquid limit is already given, plastic limit is already given, and clay fraction is already given. Liquid limit is 70, plastic limit is 30, and clay fraction is 20. All you have to do is to substitute 70 minus 30 by 20 is equal to 2. Next question. A soil has liquid limit of 25 percentage and flow index of 12.5 percentage. If the plastic limit is 15.15 percentage, determine the plasticity index, toughness index, liquidity index, and consistency index for a natural moisture content of 20 percentage. So we'll write the data which is already given. Liquid limit is given as 25 percentage. Plastic limit is given as 15 percentage. Based on these two, you will get IP, which is liquid limit minus plastic limit, 10 percentage. Now, you're asked to get, you're asked to find the plasticity index, which is 10 percentage, toughness index, liquidity index, consistency index, for which you are given with W or natural moisture content 20 percentage. So I see consistency index is WL minus W by IP into 100. But W is given as 20 percentage, WL is given as 25 percentage and we know the value of IP 10 percentage. Substituting 25 minus 20 by 10 multiply by 100 you will get 5 0 50 percentage. Toughness index IT is IP by IF multiplied by 100 for which IP is already known to us 10 percentage. IF is nothing but the flow index 12.5 percentage you already given in the question so 10 by 12.5 multiplied by 100 and the value that you get is 80 80 percentage so we have ip here we have ic here we have toughness index it here and the one that remains is il liquidity index which is a nearness to liquid limit so w minus wp by ip multiplied by 100 so w is already given 20 percentage WP is already given 15 percentage IP is 10 percentage so 20 minus 15 by 10 multiplied by 100 you'll get 5 0 50 percentage so this is the idea that I mentioned in the previous slide IL plus IC will always give you 100 percentage or 1 in terms of integer 